pressures of being an MVP, the pressures of winning a championship. When you care about so many people, um, as Giannis does, his family, the organization, uh, the city of Milwaukee, it can become overwhelming for a 26-year-old. It was a tough year, just emotionally and mentally. And all this pressure of Giannis, in order to seal who you are, you have to win a championship, it gets to you. Every person has a boiling point. I think that he reached that level that it was like, I don't think I can anymore. I was dealing with some stuff. I don't think I had enough time to grieve my father. I had to be there for my brothers and my, my mom. Seeing your mom sad and wearing black clothes and all that's not a good feeling. And I don't think I had time to kind of take for myself, talk with my family. I said, I don't want to play no more. I don't want to play no more. There's no joy, it's torture. I thought he was going to quit. I thought he was done. I thought he wasn't going to play anymore. What I said was, I'm with you. I'm going to stop playing. So what? You understand being a 12-year-old and saying, OK, we got to go out there, work, and see what, what we're going to eat tomorrow. This is nothing. I was like, hey, if you quit, we quit. We're family, we do it together. I think it was a decision that I was willing to take, not for him to feel that excluded, not to feel alone. I remember telling him, have you ever grieved for your father? You dove into the basketball. You did everything to make sure that your family was OK, which was the right thing to do. But when have you ever stopped and said, I need help myself? I started talking to a sports psych. Started doing therapy. And it was one of the best decisions that I've ever done in my life to be able to uh, develop a coping mechanism. He fought harder than anybody will ever know off the court. To see his fight and what he did to get through it was just absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm.